Hello everyone. This is an original podcast from Brain Aura. Thank you all for joining us today. This is our pilot episode and I'm really excited. And before we start, a quick introduction about me. I'm Yugandra. I organize and deliver virtual events for Brain Aura. I'll be hosting this podcast. It will be about the team at Brain Aura, our services, what we are up to, and just a whole bunch of other things. I'll also be inviting um, a variety of field experts to the show from both our in-house team and outside to uh, you know, address specific areas in their professional space or to just talk about a variety of interesting things. Since it is our first episode, I have picked out just the right person to introduce Brain Aura to you all. Meet Aprajita Mohanty, who is the co-founder and the director of Brain Aura. Uh, welcome to the show, Aprajita. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, Gondra. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I mean, it's been a long time since I uh, met you in person. I'm in 2020. So how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great as well. Thank you for asking. And um, uh, thank you so much for having me here today. I'm really excited to have this conversation and to let our audiences know more about Trainara. Yeah, it's, it's all my pleasure. I think you're the perfect person to, you know, kickstart this podcast with. You have watched Brain Aura right from the beginning. I mean, uh, from mm-hmm. the idea conception to the company establishment, you have traced every bit of progress until where we are today. So uh, can you tell us a bit about Brain Aura? I mean, how did it all begin? Was there, uh, you know, one idea that gave birth to this venture? You know, what's our little story here? Of course. Um, so Brain Aura was officially registered in the month of July in the year 2018. But the idea since started a couple of years prior to that, and um, I'll tell you the story behind it. Please. I was working for a nanotechnology company at that time, and uh, one of my close friends who was doing his PhD in a reputed university in India had called to inquire about some products required for his research. Okay. So after a couple of minutes discussing about the product, the conversation naturally digressed towards his research and uh, uh, some of the difficulties he was facing in various aspects such as uh, technical writing, reviewing, mm-hmm. refusal from the publishers, patent related stuff, etc. Okay. So, you know, it was really interesting for me to see how even a tier one university was not addressing such issues or provide any sort of training in this field. Exactly. I mean, these are basic fundamental needs of our researchers, isn't it? It is. I mean, you, you're absolutely yeah. right about that. You are an engineer yourself, and I would really love to know if you have any such any such experience. You know. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, so we decided not just to sit down and whine about it, but to be a part of the solution and do something about it. But um, I was busy with my work in the UK, and he was in India at that time, focusing on finishing his PhD. So. It, took us a couple of years to finally register Brain Aura, which happened in the year 2018. So oh, that's how it all started. That's such a wonderful journey. I mean, I really liked your idea that you want to be part of the solution rather than, you know, dwell on the problem itself, because there are so many people who actually do that. But it's only a handful of those who uh, stand up and then who, you know, go and get the solution done. So it's really amazing what you guys um, are doing, what we are doing together and uh, where it all started. It's, it's such an interesting story and it's quite inspiring too. So uh, thank, thank you, you. So thank much, you so much Yeah, for sharing that with our audience. Uh, now that we know where it all started, can you tell us about mm-hmm. uh, Brain Aura's objective and what's our mission? I mean, I have seen our team. I mean, even since the pandemic struck, there have been ups and downs in our people's lives and our team members lives. yeah but, absolutely yeah but whenever something you know comes up in brain or whenever i need them or when some interesting activity is going on everyone is up and about so where where do our folks find that enthusiasm we are a remote team spread across the globe we have still mm-hmm. managed to do this entire thing for a few years now so what are the company values you think that bind all these people across the globe uh, together in this um, with Brain Aura? 
Yes, so we are a team of experts who come from different professional fields across the globe and uh, our collective effort and intention is to guide, train and support students, researchers, scientists and young entrepreneurs in okay. achieving their career goals, expanding mm -hmm. their global outreach and create an impact. Our aim is to create a skilled workforce by equipping them with the right kind of opportunities so that you know they can adapt, evolve and carry forward the legacy of knowledge and research in the field mm -hmm. of science and technology. Okay. Our mission is to live behind a wealth of intellectual content and knowledge capital for the mankind. And mm -hmm. I'm glad that you know people have shown their trust in us. Exactly. I mean, absolutely. I mean, these are such uh, interesting goals for us. I mean, you talked about, um, you know, helping out people with their career goals to expand their global reach and, you know, creating. Yeah. So as an employee myself in this, you know, world that those things resonate with me. And I think to students, to scientists or PhD scholars, mm -hmm. these goals should resonate with them too. So, so I understand where everybody is coming and how we are all in this together. So uh, now that you have told, told us a little about, you know, what um, we are trying to provide to this world, can you tell us who exactly is our uh, target audience and which community do we serve and how are our programs and services tailored to their unique needs? Yes, of course. Um, so our services are mainly aimed at students, researchers, scientists, and young entrepreneurs, as I mentioned earlier. Uh -huh. And um, I'll explain one by one what solutions we exactly provide for them. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. The first category is the set of activities designed for the students. Number one in this category is uh, the skill-based training program. Mm -hmm. uh, These are very carefully designed to help them in communicating science very effectively. Okay. So we provide training such as uh, how to improve your technical writing skills, how uh -huh. to improve your presentation skills, right. um, how to write uh, winning grant proposals, etc. Mm -hmm. and, and this is just a few examples. The entire list can be found on our website. Okay. Okay. Next in this category is uh, called Destination PhD, through uh -huh. which we help students to find their dream PhD in their dream university around the world. Okay. This process, you know, requires a lot of effort in carefully writing your CVs, your SOPs, applying for the right kind of scholarships, and um, we provide full support until they are selected for the interview round. Okay, okay. So next is uh, we provide complete research support services under which we help the students in choosing the right research topic, mm -hmm. writing the research proposal, enhance their manuscripts and provide full publication support. And the Wonderful. final one in this category is mm -hmm. career mentoring services, which is yeah. I believe is our USP. So our expert team members use their experience and knowledge to help students in choosing the right career path early on. We also focus on providing intensive and placement opportunities to them. Okay, got it. The, yeah, the next category is for the scientists. Uh -huh. Along with the skill development programs and research support services, which uh, we provide for the students, we all these are also useful for the scientists and along with these services we also provide them lab testing support to help them select the easy and less time consuming equipment facilities where also outsourcing such uh, services is the only options for them right right we we also provide intellectual property right or full patent support to them to help them protect their ideas and inventions Started. And our last category is the young entrepreneur ones, and uh, we have dedicated training and consulting services for them in the field of research and development, quality control, project management, and office management in general, which help them to run their organization in a very cost-effective manner. So yeah, so those are three categories, three, three main categories, and uh, these are the services we provide for them. 
Uh, thank you so much for a great summary of our solution. You know, I'm sure that would have given our listeners an idea as to, you know, where we stand at the market and uh, again, the community that we serve. And to everybody out there, we'll be doing an episode on Brain Aura services exclusively. And during that time, we'll talk about each service in detail. So stay tuned. And uh, yeah, so coming back to, you know, the next question. Uh, at Brain Aura, mm -hmm. I know there is always something cooking. I mean, again, unfortunately, the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, this year, the pandemic, you know, just swallowed 2020 whole. Yet we managed mm -hmm. to deliver some online events and some uh, key webinars as well. And here we are launching mm -hmm. our podcast today. So um, I mean, is there right. a specific uh, project that you're working on? And uh, what are our plans for the next year? If you can, you know, share it with us. Of course, um, you know, so for the last two years we've been around, we are glad that everyone has accepted and appreciated us really well. Uh -huh. There's a lot of interest in Brenara and almost every day you wouldn't believe we keep getting CVs for people wanting to join our team. Right. And um, in terms of work, uh, you know, as you said, we all know how interesting this year 2020 has been. I mean, thanks to the COVID-19 mm -hmm. pandemic. Yeah. Like any other sectors, we have been affected as well. Yeah. And many universities, as you know, have suspended their regular classes, labs right. are closed, many grants are cancelled, investors are backing out of the projects. Mm -hmm. Everything is going online and uh, everyone is taking time to adapt to this new normal. So as right. a result, there is a lot of confusion around it, and which is pretty normal. Yeah. 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 But, you know, I'm glad that uh, we have been fairly lucky as we kept getting many projects even during this phase. Many researchers uh, utilize this time of their lab to publish papers, to analyze their work, to write down their cases. So that kind of kept us busy. Yeah, yeah. We also organized many virtual workshops, customized talk and short courses and the response for them was overwhelming. I mean, you have been a part of many such events yourself and you've seen the yes. feedback we got from our audiences. That's really inspiring, isn't it? They were overwhelming, I'm telling you. <laughs> it was really, really <laughs> exciting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so for the next year, we'll continue to conduct more such events and hopefully okay. things will be pretty normal soon so we can be back uh, in action in full form. We totally. also plan to launch a medical writing service next year, and uh, I'm super excited about that as well. So yeah, there is a lot to look forward to 2021. That's amazing. I mean, um, at this point, we are all just looking forward to 2021. But I'm really glad we did some uh, quite some event. We had quite some eventful. Uh, workshops and webinars like you mentioned mm -hmm. it's really great and we have some pretty big projects planned lined up for the next year as well i must give you some credit for that Ivandra. <laughs> thank you you've so been great thank, you're being very kind thank you so much yeah <laughs> so uh, when that almost brings us to the end of our episode today it was fantastic having you on board i really appreciate you taking all the thank questions thank you thank you so much yeah Thank, I mean, thank you for, uh, you know, uh, coming over here and I really appreciate you taking all the questions and giving such wonderful comprehensive answers for us. Uh, would you like to say something to our listeners before we sign off for the day? Sure. Uh, first of all, it's my pleasure to be here today. And um, I want to tell our audiences who are listening to us that if you want to stay updated about our upcoming programs, mm -hmm. please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn. Our handle yeah. is uh, the Brain Aura. We can also you can also visit our website www.brainara.com. And oh, by the way, we have launched our new website. Uh, okay. Do let us know what you think about it. I'm glad you mentioned that. I was thinking about it. Awesome. Yeah. Kudos to us. And please. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to be notified when our next podcast is up in the channel. And as Igangra mentioned in the beginning, we're going to come up with series of podcasts and we'll share a lot of interesting information and tips, which I'm sure you won't want to miss. And if, if you have any questions or you want to organize any workshop, 
tips or talk for your organizations, please write to us at info at the redbrainara.com or you can also write to me personally at aprachita at the redbrainara.com. All this information I said just now is available on your screen right now and also in the description box below. So please, please, please stay in touch and as we always say, reinvent your career with Brainara. Thank oh. you. Thank you so much, Ikandra. That was such a great end note. Thank you so much, Aprajita. And thanks everyone for staying with us today. We hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, if you like our content, subscribe to our podcast. And like Aprajita said, if you're on the lookout for uh, the services which we provide, please stay tuned because in our next episode, I'll cover all our programs in detail. Um, stay in touch with us uh, and, you know, just keep visiting our website for any updates. We keep doing cool stuff and we have a great community and uh, you know, there are so many engaging things that keep going on. Thanks once again for everyone. Have a good day.